This picture takes me back to that day. I immigrated to the United States. There's my mom, my younger sister, my three-month-old son, and me. My parents were also immigrants. My family immigrated from Laos to Thailand in 1979 during the Vietnam War. I was born in Thailand in the refugee camp. We lived in a refugee camp in Thailand, but the Thai government didn't want more people to stay in their country anymore. We have no place to stay, so that's why we immigrated to this country. We came here with a program called IOM. IOM stands for International Organization for Migration. IOM found our sponsor for us. My sponsor took this picture of us at the Wisconsin airport on November first, two thousand four. My sponsor passed away in two thousand thirteen. Nevertheless, I thank him for eight years. He helped us with paperwork to get a green card and welfare. He drove us to buy food, do laundry, and many other things. I stayed in Wisconsin only three days and moved to Minnesota, and lived with my uncle Lee, who believed Saint Paul had better education and more jobs. My first memory of Minnesota was a lot of pumpkins at almost every house. Now I know that's how they celebrate Halloween. I will retain this picture because it is full of memories. Back to that period for a scary trip to a new land. When I look at this picture, I think about my son now and how he has grown up. Raising a child in a new country isn't easy. I have to take my son with me every day to school because it's half childcare and there was no one watch him at home. I have to wake up early to get him ready before school bus arrive. If we were late, nobody took us to school. When he was sick, I had to sleep with him all night and hug him tight in my arms. I often was absent from school. I was very tired and didn't worry about my homework. We stayed home on the weekends, and I never went out with any friends. I feel and know that raising a child was a very difficult job. And a lot of responsibility for every mother. My son now ten years old, and he speaks English and Hmong, but he is more American than Hmong. Consequently, I hope he will see all of the hardships his mom had to do for him, and hope he will retain our Hmong's culture.